So here we go. What I'm doing, I've got these 16 inch by 12 inch by 8 inch cinder blocks that I'm starting off with. This isn't going to be the finished thing. And part of what I'm doing with this rocket mass heater is I'm going to be able to take it apart when I need to, if to move it or what have you. So down here in the bottom, this is a, let me show you that it's twin. This here is black furnace pipe. It's a, a T. And I've got another one of those right here that is going up into this six inch inner diameter insulated uh, section. It's three feet tall. So what you're going to see is it's resting there on those two eight inch tall bricks, give or take. And I have validated that when I put the uh, 55 gallon drum over top of this, that there's about a two by four, the two bit of the two by four height between this and and the uh, barrel. All right, so I refer to this getting cut, but here is what I initially did with the lid. And this was just with the um, with the saw, like I said. It's kind of an ugly, ugly cut. But since I don't have welding equipment, that's what it was a, that's what I was able to do. Now it's not entirely clean there, so you can get these, uh, I hadn't actually fit that on there. You can get these, which make an exact match, and now I'm going to have to stop the video and do a little bit of bending to get this all the way down to cover over that gap. And on this side here, I'll rotate this around. Uh, if I was doing this a second time, I would simply make this a round section. And the benefit of doing it as a round section is I would be able to do it again with the black pipe, which is what I would actually prefer to do. So I'm going to fit this down on. I'm going to get this nice fit thing back down on the bottom there and come back. Okay, that was a little bit harder to do than I was initially ma imagining, but the great thing is that that is a really nice tight fit around the outside. I had to flip this over and then very, very, uh, at first gently, and then uh, when there was this last little bit that didn't want to go over with a 2x4, encourage it to just pop over that rolled lip to get on there. All right, so I'm going to, hopefully I won't do this backwards and upside down. I think uh, all right, so that side goes down over this now. Always fun to do video when you're holding something in your hand. You can tell how tight that is. It just lets the lid sit right on top. And I wanted to show you what I had to do to this T. See, these are designed for their fit purpose, which is why we can buy them at local hardware stores. Lowe's is the store that happened to have the black pipe in stock. So it's got the crimped end on there so that you can put a cap on it. And then the idea is this has a, uh, a section with a crimped end and it goes up. And then this also has a crimped end that goes out. Um, but I actually want this to go inside here. So what I did is I took the, uh, the grinder and I cut uh, slots on the edges of this. Again, that was pretty exciting sparks going everywhere. But uh, that's what I had to do. And then I bent everything in gently and overlapped it. And that's gonna, what's going to let this be small enough to fit inside the di diameter here.